Good morning, everyone. It is still morning. <laughs> Had to take a day off yesterday. Boy, oh boy, I tell you what, you're never done learning. It doesn't matter if it's on Earth, if it's with Spirit World, you're never done learning. And one has to be what? Got to be vigilant with what goes on with all that, in a way. Okay? So that you're not suddenly falling into... Well, that didn't work. Well, wait a minute. Okay, tell you why. Then we're going to get right into our reading. Uh, so I made this uh, a video a little further back uh, while reading the Bible, and I mentioned the guy that said, invite uh, an angel of peace and harmony into your life. Okay, I think... Uh, I also mentioned before angels that can help you in all different areas, but you have to do your part as well, right? For example, encouraging children, I send an angel with you to school today, you got a test, this and that coming up, one should not expect the angel to do the work, right? Yes, it is more for the stability of the child, right? So they don't get suddenly, oh, oh. What is all the knowledge that I had that due to the fact how stressful a test can be to snap? Okay. Well, I just experienced the same thing with inviting an angel of peace and harmony into our house. And things went haywire. <laughs> I mean, just about in a way immediately. And I thought, well, that did, what, what is this? I just, you know. First time I thought, oh, that's, that's, yeah, gosh, why haven't I thought of that before in a way, right? Yes. When it comes to a job of the angels and it was almost as if, man, I'm not sure if this is a good idea. This is what, what's going on here, you know, with, in, in our household and not, I'm not going to get into the particulars of that. What I found though, is that, oh. Inviting an angel like this into her, our, our home doesn't automatically mean suddenly peace and harmony reigns and everything's hunky-dory, this or that. No. What happens is the problems are starting to show. Do you know what I mean? The problems are starting to show. And you're the one who's going to have to, in a way, uh, deal with them with the help of the angel of harmony and peace, which... Hopefully, we'll give you the right words. Hopefully, we'll give you the strength right, and the courage to take care of what is not okay in your home. Right? Yes? Okay. Now, I have to leave that up to everyone, their self, and what's going on in their home, this and that, right, when that happens. But that's what I realized. I'm going, oh, oh, this isn't just a quick fix or anything. Yeah? No. You have to work for that harmony and peace in your home. But you have to help. Incredible help, I have to say. And uh, it's, uh, it's in a way, even though it's already made a difference uh, in, uh, amazingly enough, my sleeping pattern. Uh, interesting? Okay, just saying. <laughs> we'll see where it goes, but... Uh, anywho, I'm always willing to work with people, right? But the people have to be willing to right, work with you in your own home as well. Right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get going here. Uh, I'm continuing the, uh, the condition for the children. Yes. Peace and harmony for our children. Yes. Uh, uh, by myself as well. You can do that. The prayers out there. I've said it. Plenty of times, right? Yes. Good. Okay. All right. All right. The dedication has been made for that celestial palace. Um, I'm, I'm assuming everything went well, and no doubt we're going to see some amazing things happening there as well. Look at my hands. I've been painting to get things ready for my grandchildren to work with and have fun with. Yes. <laughs> We are in Deuteronomy 10. Ah. The Ark of the Covenant, the choice of Levi. 
<clears throat> Yahweh then said to me, Cut two stone tablets like the first ones and come up to me on the mountain. Oh, did we skip some stuff here? Oh, I guess well, it is. It, though it just is kind of a repetition of something. I guess one assumes one has read the other books ahead of time to know why he had to do it just like the first ones. Okay, not telling us here. And come up to me on the mount. Make an ark of wood. On the tablets I shall inscribe the words then where that were on the first tablets, which you broke. Put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood, cut two stone tablets like the first, and went up to the mountain with the two tablets in my hand. Oh, interesting. It doesn't say that in the other ones. That's the first time I heard that God also said, okay, make the ark, I'm assuming a box, of acacia wood. No, or of, uh, to put them in. So what? If he throws them again, they won't be broke because <laughs> they're protected in the box. <laughs> hey, 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 I wonder what kind of uh, stone tablets they use that they break so easily. <laughs> slate. Slate breaks pretty easily. Sandstone. That'd be easy to carve in, too. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, cut two... No, that was like the first and went up the mountain with the two tablets in my hand. And he inscribed the tablets as he had inscribed them before. With the ten words with Yahweh. Ten words. Ten items. It's supposed to be translated as ten items. Again. Which Yahweh had said to you on the mountain. Okay, who's talking to who here now? Wait a second. What is this? What is this? Okay. Yahweh then said to me, who's me? Moses. Do that. Da, 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 da. So I made, cut the stones in my hand, went back up, and you have to inscribe them. Which Yahweh had said, to you on the mountain. Wait a minute. To you on the mountain. Who's talking now? Moses talking to himself from the heart of the fire on the day of, of the assembly. Yahweh then gave them to me. I turned and came down from the mountain and put the tablets in the ark I had made. And there they stayed. Oh. Oh, he didn't take that upstairs with him. Oh, upstairs. Up the mountain. As Yahweh had commanded me. Is that Aaron talking now? The Israelites left the wells of the... Bene Chakan for Maserah, where Aaron died. He was buried there, and his son Eleazar succeeded him in the priesthood. From there, they set out for Gud Gada, and from Gud Gada for Jatbata, an area rich in streams. Yahweh then set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of Yahweh's covenant to stand in the presence of Yahweh, to serve him and to bless in his name, as they still do today. That is why Levi has no share or heritage with his brothers. Yahweh is his heritage, as Yahweh, your God, then told him. And, as before, I stayed on the mountain for forty days and forty nights. And again, Yahweh heard my prayer and agreed not to destroy you. And Yahweh said to me, Be on your way at the head of this people, so that they can go and take possession of the country which I swore to their ancestors that I would give them. Ooh. So, interesting, the Ark of the Covenant was very simplified here as just a, what, a box of acacia wood? Ooh. Interesting. Don't know. That's what it said here. Circumcision of the heart. And now, Israel, what does Yahweh your God ask of you? On, on like this, to fear Yahweh your God, to follow all his ways, to love him, to serve Yahweh your God with all your heart and all your soul. To keep the commandments and laws of Yahweh, which I am laying down for you today for your own good. Look to Yahweh your God, belong... Oh, 
Look, to Yahweh your God belong heaven and the heaven of heavens, the earth and everything on it. Yet it was on your ancestors for love of them that Yahweh set his heart to love them. And he chose their descendants after them, you yourselves, out of all nations up to the present day. Circumcise your heart then and be obstinate no longer. For Yahweh your God is God of gods and the Lord of lords. The great God, triumphant and terrible, free of favoritism. Terrible. Never to be bribed. He it, he it is who sees justice done for the orphan and the widow, who loves the stranger and gives him food and clothing. Love the stranger, then for you were once strangers in Egypt. Aha, remember I said that? But Yahweh your God is the one whom you must fear and serve. To him you must hold firm. In his name take your oaths. Him you must praise. He is your God. For you, he has done these great and terrible things, which you have seen for yourselves. And although your ancestors numbered only 70 persons when they went down to Egypt, Yahweh your God, remember, Yahweh your God has now made you as many as the stars of heaven. Well, you kind of do multiply after 400 years some, don't you? Okay, just saying. <laughs> Circumcision of the heart. It's interesting on what word they're using here. And sometimes I wonder that when the, the people were given certain instructions, they were trying to figure out, okay, they, as I said, spiritual life, I guess, at that time, or spiritual the spiritual connection to God at that time was feeble or not quite understood or not quite recognized. What has to understand, we have so much time now in this world, really, when it comes down to the many countries where so many different things, a washing machine, a dryer, the stove, you know, makes it so much faster to get certain things done that you don't have to put so much effort into right, to survive, to get things done, to stay clean, to be fed, all that kind of stuff, right? Yes, when you think about it. So did they have time to really kind of, okay, I have this other spiritual nature I need to, uh, okay. Huh? So basically, okay, you got your guidance, just follow that. Huh? That must do nothing else, just do that. Huh? And keep in mind the consequences. That's where the fear, this and that. Keep in mind the consequences. And uh, so... The circumcision of the heart. How was that given, and how then, rather than for them, to go, okay, we need to we need to think. Oh, oh, okay, what is that actually, right? Is that something we need to do in the physical, for example, with our little boys, right, little baby boys, or was that meant in a different way? Rather than looking, the adults looking at their own heart, what? needs to be circumcising something means you cut something away, right? Yes? Rather than, and be open, don't hide things, this snap. And you think of circumcision, ah, that's kind of, right? Yes? Interesting concept, anyway. I, not for it, for that physical thing. No, you don't do that to a baby. You want to get circumcised as an adult, go right ahead, but no, don't. Then you make your own decision there, but you don't do that to a baby. No, you just don't. Don't, no, don't argue with me. Circumcise, circumcision of the heart. Yes. Cut away, cut away what there does not need to be there. Yes, yes. which of course literally you don't. Huh? And, uh, and start anew with the laws, with the principles of God, the principles of creation and the principles of love. Ten Commandments. I see a lot lately about the Ten Commandments. That's not a bad thing. People should know them and look at them and examine. Circumcise your heart. To uh, fit them. To be able to obey them. Yes? Uh, interesting. Interesting concept. 
And uh, because the people, in a way, as I said, where was the guidance? Where was the guidance when it came to the spiritual leaders that the Israelites obviously had? A whole tribe, the Levi, a whole tribe. Yes, to teach the people. To be the, the best example to start with and to be the counsel to the people when it came to uh, God's view. God's commandments, God's way of life on earth and in heaven. That says that in that too. Everything belongs to him. Oh, does he take uh, is that now? No, 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 no. You're free to all of it. And the best way to do that is with respect and care. So where was the guidance when it came to that, of that spiritual nature? And what did the people do? Uh, even the, I'm assuming the priests started that, decided, okay, well, since you're not getting it spiritual, this, that, so what we're going to start doing is circumcise the boys, the baby boy. That's what that means. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I could see that. I could see that happening. Well, that's the descendants, right? Babies are the descendants of the generation before. So what do you do? Eh? Instead of adults looking at their own heart and circumcise their heart eh? in the spiritual sense, they did, they, they, they did start what? For the better of the baby? Or... They did actually transfer responsibility for something very important for them to learn in their own self. Right? Then give that right, to the family, to the clan, to the tribe. And be steadfast on how right, to be God's people. They did what? Interesting to me. Yeah. Is that a bit of a stretch to see things a little different? Or did I just find another? Oh, oh, I see. What God actually says, what God actually wanted them to do, wants us to do, is something, something completely different than what ended up happening. Pushed onto the next generation. Onto baby boys. <laughs> Must be awfully painful. I can't even imagine. Oh, it's just for a little while. I don't care. As I said, don't argue with me on that. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> to, be, to be willingly inflict that kind of trauma on a little baby. Okay. That's, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Not my thing. Okay. As I said, you can always do it as an adult, right? Yes? Mm-hmm. Hold that ice pack to yourself. <laughs> you made the decision. You took the responsibility later on, if that's still something that, yeah, as a condition or something. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. That's all I have to share today. Oh. Again, I'll listen to some beautiful gospel music, gospel songs this morning, and it just, it just, it's like this, you know, if there's nothing you know how to start, if you don't know how to do any of it, to start this just love for heaven, okay? I'll just call it love for heaven, okay? Then, Start listening to these songs, and it's it starts to happen. Yes, it's one way, and uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's it, they're, they're powerful. They're powerful, powerful music, powerful lyrics. Ah, 
we have amazingly grazed 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 not grazed and grazed <laughs> See, you can hardly hear that difference people in this world when it comes to putting out their amazing songs right? to do what praise God and we should every day. That's never wasted time. Ever, 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 ever. Yes? Uh, all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. If it doesn't, which it might, but if it doesn't, but it could, I have to water my plants. I've still got seeds out that need to come up and they can't dry out completely. They have to, they have to stay wet to come up. So I'm not sure what I should do. So I'm going to give it another hour maybe. And if it's not happening, if we don't get any rain, what do you guys think? An hour? Two hours? <laughs> and, the, and it's starting to rustle. I see the, suddenly the dark clouds coming in over there. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it up to you for a little longer. And I'll go out and water. And then it will start raining. That's good too. It'll be double, double done. <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. That's it. That's a lazy Sunday. I know I'm painting, but this is for my grandkids. Yes, I'm not picking up sticks. <laughs> and surely at that time, right, the women yeah, of the Israelites still had to take care of their children and their babies and the needs of them and this and that, right? Yes? Right? Yeah. I don't have kids for Sunday. <laughs> right. So I'm prepping some things. Uh, yeah, time's flying now until I go up there uh, to uh, have fun projects to do with my grandchildren. And, of course, have plenty of free time. I love free time, just watching them. And they come and they say, Grozy, what game could we play? Right? And I'm going, okay, let's. I, I love when they exercise, right? So here I'm sitting, they have a hill that goes down to the creek, you know, and, and now they're all kind of old enough. Right? I don't have to worry too much about my youngest uh, grandchild. And uh, I'll say, okay, okay. I says, you guys see the trees down at the hill there? Okay, I want you to run down the hill. Then I want you to slalom around the trees, slalom back around the trees, right? And come back up on your knees up the mountain, right? Kind of thing. And, uh, and they're going, ah, 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 ah. they come back, you know. Ah, ah, ah. I say, okay, take, take, take a breather, right? Okay, okay, Grozy. Now, what, what are we going to do now? And then I'll give them a different, a little different route to do this now. It's very good for them to listen to instructions, have fun doing what they want to do, which is use their body all day long. This, 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 this. They don't have ADHD. They're kids with a lot of energy, and that's what you want, don't you? Not talking about certain cases where that's not possible, even then, too. Right? Yes? There are certain things that you can do with children where they can just be as active. Right? I'm just saying. Right? Anyway, so there it is. And uh, I can't wait. So I sit in the chair while they... <laughs> I did that too with my grandson. <laughs> he loves anything that has to do with a ball. Baseball, football, soccer, right? He's into it. And here I couldn't. I said, oh, I can't stand that long. So here I'm sitting in the chair and he's the goalie, right? Yes, uh huh. Oh yeah, with the with the uh, with with soccer, right? And here I kick the ball. This nah. I did it one day so many times. Oh, did I suffer that night? But it was okay. Hey, my grandson had a lot of fun, right? Yes. And uh, with the football, the same thing. I just sit there and he he goes farther back and he throws the football and of course I try to catch it and I throw it to him. And, oh, he's good. Oh, he is so good. Well, anyway. Oh, basketball. Yes. Yeah. You should see how we play basketball. Pretty funny. He's really good there, too. But I'm still better. <laughs> I don't let him win. Mm -mm. No, no, mm -mm. no. We don't do that. That's not teaching him anything. Yeah. And then when he actually makes it past me and makes a makes a basket, this year, oh he's so proud. Oh yeah. Oh and then he has a okay. Now I'm going off here. Okay, 
Uh, he has a, a table soccer, too, okay? Oh, I'm really good at that. Oh, oh, huh, mm -hmm. I never lost my skills there. And, uh, and he's like, oh. I said, when you win against me, once you win against me, and he actually did one time. And uh, it was just, I just wasn't paying attention enough. I, get, I don't know. And he went, oh, my God. He's, I beat Grozzy. Oh, he ran upstairs telling his parents, I beat Grozzy downstairs. I won one time. Right? Then, of course, the next time he's all right, then he didn't win. Right? Then he didn't win again. He didn't win again. I said, you see how much you're getting better? Yeah? Because he says, well, but I'm losing. I said, look at how many goals you made this time before I made my 10. He says, oh, that's way more than in the beginning. I said, that's right. That shows you that you're getting better. <laughs> he was so happy. Right? Yes? Yeah. Does one let children win every once in a while at something, this and that? I guess that depends on the child, maybe. But what I found in my life, and I started to realize that people let me win, I was just as disappointed as not winning. Because then I couldn't tell if, if I was actually as good as... And now it looked like I was. You see? Ah, yeah. That doesn't mean you get mean on right? winning. That's another thing. you got to show children how you win gracefully. How you... Right? And, of course, as an adult, when you play with a child, you show them, oh, you think you might not be getting better because you're not winning. But look, right? as I said, with the points that he got. That one. We have a lot of responsibilities as parents to teach our children. We have a lot of responsibilities, if you have the possibility, to be around your grandchildren, to teach your grandchildren as well. Right? Yes? Yeah. Without stepping on <laughs> the parents. <laughs> I love that boundary joke. <laughs> Mom, could you? I thought yesterday that wasn't okay. Now today it's okay? Why? <laughs> of course you don't say anything, right? Yes? Yeah. Again, there too. You know, just give the look. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yes? Oh. Ah. It's a beautiful lazy Sunday here. Even with the clouds over top, this and that. <sighs> so peaceful. Ah, oh, I love it. All right, that's it. I believe that's all I have to get. What? I know you guys have something else, but where is it? Oh, ah, that's going to get too long. Eh, uh, no. I feel like this is a good light ending to this video, and it is Lazy Sunday. Guys, we're going to have to wait with that one until maybe tomorrow. Okay, all right, all right, yes, okay. Oh, okay. God's love and blessings always. May he protect you, and I will talk to you another time.